excited for this one. To me, this one is the biggest game changer, judgment. It sounds so stupid and small, but we're gonna get into it. Mm. Still very hot. One of the sponsors of this channel, Christian over at um, Minnesota Nice Botanicals, he's one of our community, and he makes himself CBD, and they product test everything, really high standards. I like to give them a shout out every once in a while because they're so freaking awesome. Pay a lot of money to support this channel. And the cool thing, the whole reason I'm saying this is selfish. I take money from the sponsorship money, the money they pay me, and I put it towards Toys for Tots. I'm a big believer in Toys for Tots. You can look up their organization. And this December, I'm going to take all the money I've saved up all year and we're going shopping. and We're gonna buy as many toys as we can get. It's gonna be great. So I need more sponsors whenever I can get them. Let's talk about ways that you can reach me. My channel is under threat. If YouTube takes it down, I will be uploading over at Odyssey. Please go over there, sign up, follow me, whatever. If, if my channel suddenly disappears, that's where I'm going to be uploading. If they take me down for two weeks, like they did this last time, a week, this last time, I'll be over there moving on as scheduled. So the link is in the description for that. Let's talk about judgment. So one of the things that you must do if you are going to move yourself to moving positivity is you've got to actually break a social construct. And it is a really weird, toxic construct. And I don't know why we ever decided this was a thing, but I believe our ancestors did not judge their day. And I don't understand why it's a greeting and why it's something people do. But I have noticed after I started doing Amanita, I just decided I'm gonna quit judging everything. I'm just gonna quit even discussing it, labeling it, and giving it a decision. And wow, was that a game changer. Amanita just propelled that forward. Now it's bizarre to me. Now when I hear people judging things, I'm like jarred by it. So, first of all, you've got to stop making any declarations about your day. You can't say that was a good day. You can't do that anymore. But do you see why you can't? Because you also can't say, man, fuck this day. This day sucks. It's already 10 o'clock and this day is already going to shit. That is slippery, dangerous, and random. Because also you can't judge cleaning the toilet or taking out the trash or hiking long distances or being in severe pain. Because what you have to do is you have to accept that and be like, oh, okay. The same way that you would accept waiting at a bus stop and the bus is a few minutes late and it pulls up and you're in line and you get up the steps and you sit down on the bus and now the bus has to drive for 20 minutes. Like, you know this is a process. You don't get in line and go, Jesus, I need to be at my destination in 20 minutes. Like you don't, you need to be there in 20 minutes and you're getting on the bus. It's a process. It's not a good or bad process. Just like washing the dishes. And I can say this because I have a serious deep trigger with washing the dishes from some serious childhood abuse. It was so bad that in my eight years of therapy, I worked on it repeatedly. And I would say I didn't get any peace or freedom from that about washing the dishes until I started enacting the rule of no more judging. 20 years after therapy, that's how severe that trigger is for me. And now it's just a process. It doesn't trigger me anymore. So let me give you an idea of how bizarre this is and how random it really is. if you came to visit me and you walked through the door and I said, how was your passing? And you're like, passing of what? Through the doorway. Was it a good passing through the doorway? What if our society started creating stories about doorways that they were, every time you pass through a doorway, we believe that you had a decision 
to die or not, and you chose to live and your spirit did that. And every time you pass through a doorway, your spirit is choosing to live or die and you chose to live. And because of that, we've attached this huge mystical meaning to it so that every time you pass through a doorway, people, <gasps> how's your passing? The same way we sneeze, you know, and we say bless you, like they used to think something, I don't know, your soul left your body momentarily, so <laughs> like it's random and weird, right? So what if we had an entire construct then around doorway? People had shirts that had squares that were tilted to look like a doorway with a rainbow over it and sunshine around it and clouds that said beautiful passing and the words came through the door. The same way we have things that say, have a nice day. And when you're greeted, hi, how's your day going? Hi, how have all your door passings been? It is a social construct to pass a random judgment on random made up times. The sun came up, it went down, it came up again. Let's decide that that period of time needs to be judged. It's a very random thing to just pass judgment on the passing of time and how did it pass? And if you can detach yourself from that construct from judging, that means when you get sick and you know you're getting sick and you know it's gonna be bad, you can feel it. Eckhart Tolle, big fan, says, accept the present moment as if you had chosen it. And when I first heard that, blew me away. But when I actually started to do this, I started to understand what that means. That means that every moment you are in, you go, cool, right now this is what's happening. And that even means if it is extremely excruciatingly painful in your heart and you are crying on the floor in the fetal position. You don't judge it. You don't go, I wish this isn't happening. I wish this wasn't happening. Why is this happening to me? That is a form of judgment. And that is one of the most dangerous places the judging game can put you. Because as soon as you start that, but why me? You are seriously digging yourself a hole into the negative. That is a form of judgment. Why you? Why not you? Are you that special? I mean, I guess there's some people that get to be born and then get to live their lives and die and they never know pain. You're not being persecuted and you're not being picked on. But why make it worse and help it along by passing judgment? Because you can say, yeah, but you know, it helps me to say good things that happened to me today. Well, now that's a completely different thing. Being grateful that somebody helped you jump off your car has absolutely nothing to do with judgment. You can be grateful without judging your day to be a good day because to judge your day to have been a good day means you had to assign arbitrary meaning to arbitrary things. So materialism, let's say people gave you free shit today and that's your definition of a good day. Let's say that everybody was nice to you today and so you decided today's a good day. Well, that's kind of fucked up if you ask me because that means that your happiness is outside of yourself and depends on free shit or consumerism or hoarding or materialism or how other people are treating you. And that means your happiness is not in your own hands. What defines a good day for you? Because whatever it is, it's bullshit and you're in the wrong business. If you can say, well, it was a good day because it was a mental, mentally healthy day. I did good. I felt content all day. I, I didn't have episodes of my mental illness like I went through the whole day content how can I not say that was a good day because tomorrow if you have an episode then by default 
that means you just had a bad day. It means you're judging your own mental health and forcing it to live up to standards. It means you're judging yourself pretty damn harshly and you need to get out of that business. You can't judge yourself. You can't judge your situation. You can't judge because you will always have problems to solve. And whatever situation you find yourself in in your life, it's merely a life situation. Don't worry, it'll change. Things going good, don't worry, it'll change. Things going shitty, don't worry, it'll change. Do you see why you can't say things are going well, things are going badly? Because they're just gonna change. It's fluid, it's a roller coaster. And so, right now, I am working on my fire pit. My back hurts. It's hard work. However, I feel a sense of accomplishment. I feel proud when I look out the window at it and it looks different than it did yesterday because of my effort. I feel good physically. My back hurts so much, but my soul and my heart and my body are like, yeah, good work is good. But I have to clean the litter box, take out the trash. When I clean out that litter box, I think about how happy the cats are gonna be to start fresh. It's an act of service that I do for them because I love them. I put my heart into it. Treat toxic negative people like they have the plague because what are they gonna do to this fear that you are trying to move upward, to vibrate better, to bring positive things to you? Toxic, negative, shitty people are gonna bring you down. It's like if you're in a public place and a fight breaks out. Do you run to watch the fight or do you run to get the hell away from it? You need to be getting the hell away from it. If you are still in the business of running to go watch it and you wonder why you're not attracting things that you want into your life, they're not there because you're not living your life like those things need to be moving towards you. No more judging events as positive or negative. No more judging your days. No more judging your work or your life situation as positive or negative. No more judging people. No more judging a gift. No more judging your face. Look at how I look nine times out of 10 on camera. Like, I think I looked at one video where I was like, oh cool, I look decent in that. You put out there what comes out of your heart and people see it or they don't see it. People are gonna blame you. Y'all don't even know how many people blame me for their computer crashing or their Amazon orders not showing up or their email getting hacked. <laughs> Just practice it for a week and watch what happens. At the end of that week, you're gonna be vibrating on a whole different level. I promise. I love you, beautiful people.